Hello everyone, welcome to Aptrix classes. This is Ramu and here I am to discuss data interpretation tabular data video lesson number three. Now, this is a very interesting data set. I have chosen missing data which is very popular among aspirant, right? So we are going to do a wonderful question based on missing data and it will clarify you a lot of things and how intelligently you can mark the answers, you know, with, with less calculation which you unnecessarily do in the paper. You can follow me on various social channels. Join the channel Hello Aptrix, the telegram channel of Aptrix so that you get all the important updates. Let's move to the question. Now in this question what says there are four questions and the information is given on the left hand side. Let's read the information. It is saying that uh, you know this there is a table where we are given the information about males and vegetarian in a particular class. Right and total value has been given as well. There are two values which are missing. And then what it says the proportion of male student and the proportion of vegetarian student in a school are given in the above table. The school has a total 800 students, 80% of whom are in secondary section and rest are equally divided between class 11 and class 12. So I must write here that total value is 100% here and this will be 80% this will be equally divided then. So 10, 10% right. 20% is equally divided. Try to understand what this value 0 0.6 depict that out of this 10%. 60% of it 0 0.6 proportion means out of 1. So 0 0.6 is out of 1. So if, if I say this is 10%. So if you find out what is out of 10% is it percentage of total number of students in the school, right? That will be 6% or this 0 0.6 will signify 60% of number of students in class 12. So if you calculate this percentage with respect to number of students in class 12, that will be 60% while if you calculate it out of total number of students in this school then it will be clearly how much 6% because total value in terms of total is just 10%. So that is what the relationship is given. Now let's see the what are the questions and how we are going to do them. But this information is very important. This is 80, 80%, this is 10% and this is 10%. I am writing this and overall value is 100%, right? Now one thing you have to understand in this case, right, that we are given the male, right? So if, if I get that there are certain number of students in a particular class and I am given with the male percentage right out of that definitely I know the female percentage like here in class 12 if 40 60 percent of class 12 students are male the remaining 40 percent are female but there is other variable also vegetarian and non-vegetarian as well. So we have to actually look for this case. Uh, in totality so that we can do the questions easily. So one of the way of doing this question is assuming this 100% to be 800. If you assume this 800 you will calculate the value of 80% then you will get to know 10% 10% and accordingly you can make the complete table male, female, vegetarian, non-vegetarian and solve it. But my purpose is not to solve that way right. We have to find the answer with minimal effort so that's where I am going to work for you all. It is saying now look what is the percentage of male student in the secondary education this is asking. What is the percentage of male student in the secondary education. So like you know the value 0 0.6 means 60 percent uh, of class 12 is male 0 0.55 is 55 percent is male. This is not known overall 47.5 percent are male. That's what you need to find out. When when you look at this question actually you may be feeling that you need to calculate so many things. But first thing I will tell you that these three options are not possible. Why they are not possible just try to understand. This is 60% right. This is 55% and this overall value is 47.5% right. So I am talking about there are three types class 1, class 12 and secondary education right having different values of male percentage 60%, 55% and something which is unknown but total value should be 47.5%. This is simply average question. Alright, it is essentially that class 12 is having average mark 60, class 11 is having average mark 55, class uh, secondary education we don't know but overall average is 47.5. In average there is a very basic concept that average of n number of observations is always between the smallest and the highest values. That is the basic concept of averages. So here if you assume it anything more than 50 or equal to 50, what will happen? Average will be definitely more than 50 then. Because if, if total value is 47.5, it is clear I have to choose this unknown value less than 47.5 because already there are two values which are more than that. So if I do not choose a value less than 47.5, I will not get uh, you know the average to be 47.5. So therefore whatever options are given, 50, 55, 60 are gone. They are not possible. Now out of two options, what is right? You will be asking how to calculate that. It is very simple. You check the options, right? You check the options and you will get that. At what can be the possible average? Right. So in, in this process, you know how to proceed, then I'll tell you the other way also to do, do this particular question. Like here, if I come to come to this case and I want to find out this question mark, there is an approach of deviation. Any one of them you assume to be average, like let's say if you assume your average is 40 or 45, whatever you want, 
the other will be the correct answer if one is wrong other will be right so let's assume my average is 40 right if if sorry for this secondary section the male percentage is 40 percent then you have to just check that will you get this 47.5 percent or not right is the average so essentially you can see the weightage are here 811 this is the weights that has been provided now to check if you are going to get that average or not if you look at 47.5 with respect to 40 is 7.5 more and 7.5 times I mean 7.5 times 8 you are going to get here this will be the negative deviation we call it negative deviation right because this is 7.5 lesser than the average now this should be actually balanced by the surpluses that is the concept of average that the deficit should be balanced with surplus then only that number can be average you clearly see here 55 that is 7.5 more so it will give me 7.5 times 1 and it will give me 12.5 so clearly it is not going to balance it 7.5 times 8 is too high to be matched by these two 12.5 times 1, 7.5 times 1. That's why even 40 is not the answer. It should be more than that. B is only possible answer. If you are good in calculation and you have this average concept, in seconds you can get the answer. It is taking time because you may not be aware of this method and how to use it here. Look, this is this was the one method of sol so solving the question. There is other way also to do this. I will explain even that as well because you will have multiple options in the exam. You should never lack in terms of approach. right? So the other way of solving the same question would be this. You can clearly see that if I have assumed this particular value to be 100, right then automatically if this is 100 ultimately we have to calculate percentage right here so for finding the percentage total you need not to have the total value 800 you can have anything the only thing is the ratio should be maintained so if you assume it to be 100 then this is 10 10 8 something like that so if this will be 10 this will be 6 this will be 5.5 and this will be 47.5 out of 100 the remaining value you can find it out that what will be summed to give 47.5 you are going to get this particular value to be 36 so if you get this 36 36 out of 80 is clearly 45 percent you can get that out 36 out of 80 is 45 percent because the division will be 0.45 that that is also one of the way of getting the answer too quickly moving further to the question number two question number two says in class 12 we are talking about this class 25 percent of vegetarians are male what is the difference between the number of female vegetarians and male non-vegetarian very simple question this is so first we have to find the percentage of vegetarians right so we already know that it was 10 10 and 80 i'm not writing percentage symbol beside it that is well understood now let's try to understand if out of 100 i mean if in in this column this is what this is denoting 0.53 is nothing but 53 percent right 53 percent of what total so if this value is 53 percent it means that if i sum all the vegetarians I must get 53% in the total vegetarian, right? So just let's try to see. Out of 10, if this is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 means 50%. I'll call it 5. This is, uh, you know, 0 0.55 out of 80. So if this is 55% of 80, because that is what the value is written, right? The base is 80. 55% of 80. Let's calculate that. That will be equal to 44. You check it out. 50% of 80 will be 40. 5% of 80 will be 4. That's why it will be 50. 44% of total this is 5% of total 50% of 10 so 5% of 100 now you clearly see here if you have 44% 5% 49% you clearly need 4% from here to make total 53% now once you got that vegetarian on 4% and it is also saying that 25% of the vegetarian are male that means out of this 4% 1% are going to be male now if 1% are the male and what they are asking male non-vegetarian try to understand so out of total value and what is this 6 try to understand this 0.6 is 60 percent of 10 or 6 percent of total now tell me if out of this 6 percent 1 percent is male uh, male vegetarian then how much is male non-vegetarian clearly it is 5 percent and also you got 1 percent is out of 4 percent of vegetarian 1 percent male is vegetarian 1% of that is male vegetarian. So what will happen that 3% will be what? Female vegetarian because total is 4% vegetarian, 1% male. So 3% will be female. The difference of this will be what? 2% and what will be 2% equal to? 16. I already told you that if you assume this 100 and overall value is 800, that means the multiplier is 8, right? So or, or 1% is equal to 8. So therefore, if I am getting 2%, I can clearly write it to be 16. And that's why 16 is the answer. If you're good in percentages and averages, right, this question is easy to do. Otherwise, you need to make the table to solve it. That is your choice. If you find that comfortable, you do that. But what I find is this is really comfortable. I can do it orally. 
because I can calculate percentage values very quickly, averages I can calculate very quickly. So for me, it is the most suitable. And even if I will fill up the table, right? I will fill up with the percentage values. I'm not going to fill this with your absolute values. I'm not interested. So if you want to fill up the value, my recommendation will be fill it in terms of percentage of the total. Like this particular value is given as, you know, this will become how much? 5.5% of total. We calculated this will be 45% of the total. And this is nothing but 47.5%. So even if you want to fill it, you fill it out of, you know, per in, in terms of percentage value. This will be, sorry, 36% of total, right? If, I, if I'm talking in terms of total value. If you fill the value in that form, actually, it will be very easy for you to solve. Otherwise, whenever we will be required to find the absolute value, we can quickly multiply by it. That will be our answer, right? Moving further, what it says, what is the percentage of vegetarian student in class 12? They are asking, what is the percentage of vegetarian student in class 12? Now, the question is how to find that? Let's go there. Let, they are talking about class 12, right? Now, try to understand out of 10, this was 4. We want to find out what is this 4 of this 10 in terms of percentage. That is the benefit or the beauty of the percentage. The answer is 40. You know that this, you know, 10 is written, percentage I have not written. So essentially, if they are asking that what percentage of class 12 is vegetarian, it is 4 out of 10. And 4 out of 10 will be how much? 40%. In what you will do if you cal uh, convert these values into absolute values, like 10% will be 80. If you want to uh, talk in terms of 800, this will be 80. So this will become 48. If you fill up it with absolute values, you will unnecessarily do the calculation in the later part. Like for calculating this question, you will write something by something to get the answer. And that you need to then, then you will cancel out and find the answer. While here, if you write the values already in terms of percentage, if you fill the values in terms of percentage, right, you are going to look and mark. It's a one time effort, you got it. And then you what? four out of 10 is 40%. This 4% is out of total. But four out of 10, if you want to calculate what is this out of total number of class 12 students will be 40%. Easily you can mark. So let us solve question number four now. This says find the difference between number of non-vegetarian in secondary section and number of non-vegetarian in class 12. All right. If you remember, we just calculated this is vegetarian is 4%. If vegetarian is 4%, then the value that we are talking about non-vegetarian in class 12 will be equal to 6%. And understand this is 6% of total. Right now, if we somehow calculate that how many percent of total are non vegetarian in secondary section, the difference will be the answer. Right? So, if you clearly see here, this is 0.55, but understand this 0.55 was out of 80. This is not 55, this is 55 percent of 80, not out of total. So, let's make it what is the percentage out of total, right? So, if you clearly calculate, we have assumed total to be 100, and this is 0.55 or 55 percent of 80. If you calculate, you are going to get this particular value to be 44. Even we did this calculation in previous questions. So if this value is 44, this is 44% of total then out of 100 now, right? So once you calculated this 44% of total, it is it is nothing difficult now to call that here, if 80% are in secondary section, because that is given in the question. So out of total 100%, total 80% of total is in secondary section. And out of that 44% of total is vegetarian. So that means clearly 36% of this total, I mean 36% plus 44% gives me 80%, right? So that's why 36% of total will be non-vegetarian in, in secondary section. So 36% minus 6% because here non-vegetarian, vegetarian came out to be how much? They came out to be simply 6%, right? Non-vegetarian was 6%, vegetarian is 4%. So the difference gives me how much? It gives me clearly the value to be uh, 30% and therefore we get the answer 30%. 1% equal to 8 and multiply by 8, you're going to get 240 and that becomes the correct answer here without any confusion. You are easily going to get that. There, there won't be any confusion that 240 is the right answer in this particular case. So thank you everyone for watching the video lesson. Keep sharing to more and more people and I will come up with new video very soon and that will contain, a, uh, that, that will have an awesome data interpretation question once again. Do write your comments in the feedback, right? That what kind of DI you want me to cover in these, these sections and accordingly I will be taking up DI in upcoming session. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.